M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Zygu X6100 with the Android software FT8CN by N0BOY. And it's actually fantastic. Now it's taken me quite a while to work out the settings. So on the actual X6100, it's just USB into the DEV port. Okay, now I haven't actually changed any settings on the X6100. Then you download the software. I'll put a link in, but you literally go to the FT8CN and just click APK and it will install it on your tablet or mobile phone. We do have an OTG adapter as well into the tablet. So we're looking at this window here, which is, let's just go back to the decode. This is the decode window, they call it. You do have to put your seven settings in first. So go to settings. What have we got here? Now it's actually transmitting and we can see it's transmitting um, even when we're in the settings menu. Call sign, grid square. I've got this auto frequency. I haven't touched that. Don't really know what that is. TX delay, 500 time offset, 000, PTT delay, 100 million. I haven't changed that. Now frequency, I have put it in there. But you don't really need to because it does it for you automatically. Cat I've selected. I'm going to try it with Look, you've got cat, and then, but you've also got Bluetooth and network. So what I'll do is I'll probably Bluetooth it to this iPad in a minute and see if we can do away with the cable because the cable is quite annoying. Um, board rate I've set to 19200 and CIV 70. Then I've selected rig X6100. So I'll just show you them close up so you know what they are. Okay, just have a good look. Call sign. I think the key one is a CIV70 and the 19200. You can select the X6100. And of course, it works on lots and lots of other rigs. So I'm not going to change my settings. So that's that. The radio is on USB digital. So there you go. DIV port. And that's it. So once you get to this point. So let's go back to. Let's have a look at Spectrum. You get this lovely Spectrum. Uh, remember, this is all free, and it's transmitting now. You can see the radio going into TX. It's on five watts. We haven't had a contact yet. I mean, I've been doing this for about five minutes. It just took me a while to get it to TX. But anyway, you've seen the settings. We'll go to decode, and then, as far as I can see, to make it TX, you hold your finger on one of the stations, and then you click call. Okay. And when you're calling, it goes red here and you can turn it off by tapping that. You can delete all this as a delete here as well. So let's just try again, because maybe it was in a call. Let's hold it down, call. And then we tap here and you get, you know, the, it goes through these motions. The other thing you've got is a, a map here. Go a map here. Sorry, my fingers. And you, uh, it's, it's, there you are, it started calling now. Look, and you can see it's telling you what it's doing. Zoom in. You can see the TX. Now, I should be on there, but I'm not really seeing myself. But, oh, IO81, that is me. So you've got the map. I've noticed that if we tap there, we, uh, we can change frequencies. And that does work. Should we show you? There you are, frequency change, let's change back. Scroll down. Uh, it's gone back into TX, and is that me? It doesn't look like that's not where I live, but IO81. But anyway, it's saying it's TXing. Um, let's have a look at the speaker emblem. Signal output, back to settings. I've seen this thing called tips mode. Not sure what that is. Someone tell me what that is. If we go back, we've got the back button here. I know it's not the great, the greatest image, but I'm just trying to show you it in real life. It is TXing. We haven't had an actual contact yet. You can see as it scrolls down, you've got people that are calling on this actual waterfall. So we've got the decode, the spectrum, and then we've got QSO logs here. I've seen myself appear when it was actually calling, and then back to settings. 
There it is transmitting again. You can see that there is a line there on the screen, USB digital. Some people have been using USB. So all we need to do is just see if we ever get a contact, but it's free, it's something to play with, and I'm having fun, and it will work on the 705 and, and lots of other radios. Now, whether you you get lots of contacts, that's another matter. So you can see it going into TX there. Thanks for watching my channel, 73, all the best.